there are individual differences in concussions. One concussion can have devastating effects in, in an individual and it can be only one and the person can be presenting persistent symptoms for, for months or even years. Uh, the, the, there is a definite danger in multiple concussions. And we now know that uh, the likelihood of developing uh, degenerative diseases such as Alzheimer's or developing depression uh, increases many times over the number relative to the number of concussions that one has had in their life. An MRI is, uh, in fact, tells us about the structures of the brain. Are there alterations in the in the structures of the brain, in, in particular regions? Are there lesions? Is there damage there? Uh, a functional MRI, in contrast, tells us tells us about the activity in, of, of certain regions in the brain. The kind of experiments that we've done with fMRI is presenting uh, is measuring working memory. And working memory is, uh, as we've said before, it's this uh, ability to remember what you've done so that you don't have to do it again in the same day or in the same week. So the kind of task that we have the subjects do is to present four stimuli, abstract drawings like this in a row, and then present a fifth one and have them decide whether uh, that uh, uh, picture was presented before or not. The areas in color that you see are the areas that are activated. So you see that most of them are in the back region here and also in the front region here. These are athletes, it is a group of athletes that have had mild to moderate symptoms. So they're not doing too badly but they're still presenting symptoms so they cannot play. Now this group of athletes have severe symptoms. Things like severe headaches, severe memory problems, they're really complaining. And when you look at their brains in activity, you see that the activation patterns that you see in the controls, and even in the mild to moderate uh, group, are, they're quasi absent. There is no activi activation there. So this is extremely interesting because we can look at the brain, the activation of the brain in certain individual, individuals that have uh, symptoms and then we can say yes it looks like these symptoms have a pathological basis there's something wrong going on in their brain which makes them complain of these symptoms they're not inventing these symptoms it is likely highly likely that if you return to play too soon you uh, can suffer devastating effects in fact there is the second impact syndrome that has been well documented where if two concussions are too close in time the second one can have devastating effect and can even lead to death so it is extremely important that the symptoms be resolved before somebody uh, goes back to play because then they're at a, uh, at a high risk of, have, of undergoing a second concussion because their reaction times are slower and, and uh, their attention is, is affected and all these things that they're usually good at are reduced and in very high uh, play, uh, then very high competitive play, then they are at risk.